Name tags in Minecraft might seem basic, but that couldn't be further from the truth. So in this video, discover 20 secrets you didn't know about name tags. So the first secret is that name tag names appear in more places than let's say just the name above the mob's head. So for instance, we'll name this mob name, and I know a very creative thing to name it. And then when we're killed by this husk right here, instead of saying I craft MC was slain by husk, it'll say I craft MC was slain by name, because it's basically taking that and replacing it with the word husk. So you can use this for a really funny effect. For instance, something like, let's say I craft MC was slain by hero brine or something like this. Now we all know about wandering traders. They come and visit us, try and sell us items, and then they'll disappear. Now usually name tagging a mob in Minecraft will make them not despawn, but what will happen with the wandering trader is unfortunately when we name it, it still can despawn. This actually makes it the only mob in the entire game that once named can despawn, under normal conditions at least. So unfortunately you cannot keep this wandering trader around your base forever. There's a lot of different name tag easter eggs in the game, such as the fact that if you name a name tag Johnny, then find yourself a Vindicator, and Johnny spelled like this. When we name this Vindicator Johnny, its behavior actually changes. Instead of just attacking the player, or let's say villagers, it will attack literally every single mob that exists in the entire game. So you can see it'll kill these sheep right here if it stops chasing me, because of course it will only be tracking one mob at a time. But if it goes after the sheep here, then it will kill those instead. So for instance, you can see the Vindicator there is now going after the sheep and killing them. And this is a reference to a horror movie where basically an axe-wielding thug comes into the room and says, here comes Johnny. And so if you name these Vindicators Johnny, then they will have that same effect. Now name tags are of course by default named name tag. And so because of that, you can't just right click on a mob and name them something with just a blank name tag. So you could never have a mob be named name tag. Or could you? Well, you actually can. It's really easy. All you have to do is put a name tag in the anvil here, modify it somewhat, put it back in the anvil, rename it to name tag. So now it's been renamed twice, the second time to name tag. And now you can name anything you want name tag. So it's kind of an interesting thing. You wouldn't really assume you can do that, but it's certainly something you can do if for whatever reason you want to name a certain entity in the game name tag. So armor stands are known as an entity in Minecraft. That means it's basically processed by the game in the same way as let's say a villager would be. But even though it's an entity, you can't name it with a name tag, right? Well, you actually can. Let's say we name it something like armor or something like this. What will happen is it will consume the name tag. When we right click on it, you can see it disappeared, but we cannot see the name above it. And this armor stand is named, but we cannot see the name unless the data of this armor stand is changed with commands to allow that name to be visible. But you can still technically use a name tag on an armor stand. So it's kind of an interesting thing to have an invisibly named armor stand in your world. Now here's a rather odd bit of trivia. If a villager is killed by a zombie, and the zombie has a name tag on it, and the villager has a name tag on it. Let's get this villager a name tag. When the villager is turned into a zombie villager, so that would be a hostile mob, it actually will not despawn because it has a name tag. But let's say this named villager was killed by a zombie that does not have a name tag on it, then it still will despawn. So basically, both the zombie and the villager need to have name tags, or the villager, even though it's named, could despawn when it is in a zombie villager state. Now rabbits come in a lot of different colors in Minecraft, but there's a secret color of rabbit you can unlock. So if you name a name tag Toast, you can unlock this. So let's just call it Toast and right click on the rabbit here. You'll notice not only does it now have this name, its texture also changes. This is a reference to a bunny that was a friend of one of the developers but unfortunately it died. There is its texture and it looked like that in real life. So you can see here that you can always get this Toast Bunny in Minecraft if you want. Quite an interesting little feature. And of course, Toast was the name of that person's rabbit. Now usually when you right click on a mob, you'll either interact with it like this. Let's say open up a villager's trading interface or maybe ride it if it's something like a saddled pig. But there's two mobs in the game that the name tag actually overrides the use action. It doesn't happen on every mob, it just happens on two of them. The first one is the saddled pig, so if we right click on here, we do not ride the pig, we name it. Whereas let's say on a horse that wouldn't happen. And with the villager here, if we right click on it with the name tag, it'll name the villager instead of interacting with it first. So it's quite an interesting functionality there that for whatever reason, just the villager and the saddled pig have the fact that your use action is overridden by the name tag. 
Now of course if you're killed by a hostile mob that's named, that will appear in the chat. But let's say you have a pet that's named, that is killed by a hostile mob that is named. Let's say for instance these three husks here, we'll name them all three evil husk. Then we will attack all three of them, so that our dog will know to attack them. Basically when our poor dog is killed by the husk, you can see in the chat there that our dog's name was slain by the husk, and both of those names appear in the chat there. So in that way you can actually have a fully customized message, and you could definitely do some very funny pranks like this, having literally saying in the game that whatever name you want killed whatever name you want, so that can definitely make for some really fun combinations. Now name tags are of course found as a rare item in certain generated structures, like for instance a dungeon, but these items are a lot less rare than you may think, because at the last trade of every single librarian is 20 emeralds for a name tag. Now of course this is not cheap at all, but if you zombify this villager four times, you can get name tags for literally one emerald each, and because emeralds are actually rather easy to get, you can get yourself an infinite supply of name tags, stacks and stacks and stacks, with just a few fully zombified librarians, and a good source of emeralds. So if you need tons of name tags, don't forget about the last trade of the librarian. If you rename a name tag to Dinnerbone, the name of one of the developers of Minecraft, and then name any mob with it, the mob will actually turn fully upside down. This is a super cool easter egg to the fact that the Dinnerbone developer is always portrayed as being upside down. And so it's awesome to have these upside down mobs walking around the game. This works on basically every single mob in the game and it's really cool to see this. It even works on things like the wither so you can have some really funny effects with these rather strange upside down walking mobs. Also another interesting fact about name tags is the fact that if you name a name tag Grum, so G-R-U-M-M -M like this, basically it'll have the exact same effect as if you had the dinner bone name tag. So let's name one of these mobs Scrum. It will also turn upside down the exact same way. This is basically just an alternative way of doing the exact same easter egg, but I still think it's quite cool. And this one also works on every single mob in the game, and this even works on baby mobs and literally every type of mob, so you can have this really funny and cool effect. Now naming a mob will make it not despawn, something like a hostile mob let's say of course would despawn rather regularly. However there is one difference to this, let's say we name this zombie right here named. If we go super far away it will not despawn. No matter what happens this mob will not naturally just disappear out of the game unless of course it's killed, except for under one circumstance. Unfortunately hostile mobs that are named will still disappear in peaceful mode. So let's say we just change our difficulty here to peaceful. That zombie will still disappear whether it's name tagged or not. This is actually the only way other than the wandering trader that a name tag mob can just randomly despawn. Now the only mob in the entire game that you cannot name with a name tag is the ender dragon. You can go right up to it even in creative mode and spam right click on it and you just simply cannot name it in the game, it is just not possible. Now you can with command summon an ender dragon that has a name. But there is no way in survival to have a name tag work on an ender dragon, even in creative a name tag will not work. So it's kind of interesting because you can rename other boss mobs like let's say the warden or the wither with a name tag, but it just does not work with the ender dragon. Now a really interesting effect happens if you do rename the wither. So let's just spawn in a wither right here. As soon as it spawns in the game we're going to apply a name tag to it, something like that. And basically what will happen is the boss bar will actually rename from wither to whatever you named it to. So now we have this boss bar that says our message on there, subscribe to iCraftMC. And basically it'll just stay like that no matter what. And of course once you kill the wither that'll be gone. But it is really interesting that you can customize the wither's name like that. And it even appears on the boss bar. So you can have a boss bar in survival Minecraft that says whatever you want it to say. In fact on some anarchy servers people will sometimes leave messages on renamed withers trapped in bedrocks. So that you have this message whenever you pass by a certain area. Now a name tag easter egg you may know about is if you name a name tag Jeb underscore with no capitals like this. And then you rename a sheep that, what will happen is it will go through all the colors of the rainbow, sort of becoming a rainbow sheep. There's actually no way of knowing what color of wool is under there, so you could shear that and it's not going to change depending on what color you see, it's just whatever the original color was. This is definitely a really cool effect in the game, probably one of the most in-depth easter eggs there are, and all you have to do is name any sheep you want job underscore like that and you'll be able to see that too. This could be really cool especially for let's say making a wool farm, you could have some rainbow sheep at the entrance of it. So you could have this really cool RGB look as I think it's the only thing in Minecraft that looks like that. 
If you have to rename a lot of mobs at once and you have a lot of name tags, you don't have to rename name tags one at a time. You can rename an entire stack of name tags. For instance, right here, we could just call this stack of name tags. I know very original here, and it'll rename all 64 for still only one enchantment cost or one level being gone. This can be really good if you want to name a lot of mobs the same thing. For instance, let's say naming all your villagers just so that they do not despawn. That could be a really good thing to do. Or maybe naming some hostile mobs as well. It could save a lot of experience long term. And then you have this entire stack of name tags ready to use. The great news too is that let's say this stack here, you don't want to actually end up using them all. You still have 58 left that are called stack of name tags. And you kind of regret naming them all that. Well, the awesome thing about it is that you can rename these again. So simply just go back up to the anvil here, name them whatever you want. We could just name these just stack of names or something. And we have a different name here. We can just go on from there. Speaking of renaming things, if you put spawn eggs into an anvil and rename them whatever you want, and then you have these renamed items. Basically, right clicking on the ground here, you'll notice these mobs are pre named. So it's a really cool effect here because you get to summon in a mob that's already named whatever you want it to be. Of course, this only works in creative mode, but still definitely a cool thing to do. And let's say you have a map and you want it to summon in some mobs that are already named something like villain or enemy or something like that. You could just have those spawn eggs already be named and they will just come in right like this. Now the Grum and Dinnerbone name tags I talked about earlier will make any mob turn upside down, except for one type, that is squids and glow squids. So let's say we rename this squid right here, you'll notice its position does not change whatsoever, it doesn't even temporarily turn upside down. So although you can name squids this name, it will not do anything to the way that they work whatsoever. I would assume that they would at least flip over temporarily, but they do not do that whatsoever. So there you have it, a mob that is named Grum or Dinnerbone that is not upside down. I guess in a sense those squids are always moving right side up and upside down, so it makes sense that that wouldn't really apply to them. And as the final thing you didn't know about name tags, name tags were actually added at the request of YouTuber Paul Soares Jr. This was way back in the day, and he said that he think name tags would be a really good addition and Mojang decided to add them because of his request. Now you know 20 secrets about name tags and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!